Okay, fellas, let's uh, open. Go ahead. Uh, just overall, your thoughts on this game at UCLA? I mean, your last chance to, to get them before you take off. How how big is this weekend feel for you? It's it's a big big thing for the team. A big game and uh, hopefully a big win. I and mean, yeah. that's what we're looking for every week. And it's another great uh, Pac-12 contender coming in. So. We're excited. What What's the key for a guy like you that's been getting to so many quarterbacks all year long, the key to getting to Brett on, on Saturday? What are the challenges that he provides that are unique? The key is doing your job. So i got to do mine and, uh, <laughs> you know, just focus on uh, challenging these offensive tackles to yep. block me and uh, block the rest of the D-line, block Danny, uh, you know, Andrew Hudson, and, you know, give our guys on the back end an easier game. You were named the Buckus Award semifinalist today, right? What is what does that honor kind of mean to you? I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> I just found out two seconds ago, yeah. so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not here to win awards, but I'm, I'm grateful for um, all of the accolades and, and acknowledgments from everyone around here. We, we've been looking at projected numbers for you really for the last couple weeks because it's fun to do number one and, and number two, it gets the fans fired up. And how much do you kind of look at, okay, if I stay on this pace, Here's what I can do. Here's the records I can set. Do you even think about stuff like that? I, I shouldn't, and I don't. Mm -hmm. People, you know, are in my ear, and you know, their family that's excited, and, and friends that remind me. And, you know, it means it means nothing until it happens. So right. you got to continue to just keep your head down, and grind, and, and hope for the best. How much? How much more growth do you think you have left in the tank? I mean, you talked about you when you were a freshman against Nebraska in that Holiday Bowl, and you yeah. hurt for a couple of years, and now you're back as the player we all thought we could, you know, maybe see on Saturdays. But how much? How much growth is there still left for you in these final five games? There's a ton of room for improvement, and uh, I'm not making it up. You know, I feel like we get so much better, and our defense can get so much better. Mm -hmm. We're missing tackles still, and doing some of the little things, you know. Not as great as we want to, so there's so much room, and uh, I'm just excited for all of us to, to be able to take that next step and improve in our game. Some of the tackles this, this last week, <coughs> similar issues to the Oregon game, different stuff, details. What would you see? Yeah, uh, I mean, we can't, there's, there's no way you can make excuses about that kind of stuff. I mean, it just comes down to how you're practicing and, and what you're doing to finish plays, and you know, if you're really tagging off or if you're kind of playing through the motions and things like that. So we just got to tighten that up on our own. Tell me about Brett Hundley, just as a, uh, an opposing quarterback and, and how how unique his kind of skill set is or his physicality is. You know, you see in Mariota, he's one thing. This guy's different, isn't he? I mean, they're, they're all really good quarterbacks, and, and Hundley's really athletic. You know, he'll make you miss, and then he can hurt you with his feet, and, you know, he throws well, he has a strong arm. Um, again, another dual threat quarterback that's really talented. Not time to beat somebody you're not supposed to beat, don't you think? <laughs> I don't know who we're not supposed to beat, so <laughs> I expect, you know, great mess out of all of us, and, and we can make this happen. You ever you ever cross paths with Jim Moore at all? I mean, he was a guy that was starting to was kind of hanging around the program yeah. right for a while. What's your relationship like with him? When I was uh, in recovery or just you know working on strengthening my knee and stuff, he was around and thinking of doing a similar right. deal, skiing or something like that. So so I seen him around. So he's a really good guy, you know, good coach. Isn't he coming from Atlanta? At that time? Seahawks. Oh, Seahawks. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, cool guy. <laughs> nice to meet him. And all that seems happening.